Children are using AI as a substitute for socialization, and new research is coming out on what effects it may have. Yes, the cat is out of the bag. It's not just adults using AI. Children are speaking to it like it's their best friend. In some cases, children have used their AI to answer questions about what they should do in relationships, and has even broken up kids' friendships. Now, this is a little bit concerning. We know that adults are interacting with AI poorly. People have even left their spouses because they wanted to date their AI. And of course, Mattel, the makers of Barbie, have announced that they plan to make children's toys in the next year that incorporate OpenAI into them. There have been a few papers that have been put out on using AI as a way to socialize children in ways that it might be beneficial. For example, children with autism may find it easier to learn to interact using an AI rather than their peers, but I feel like this is not a good idea. One important thing to understand is that children cannot reliably distinguish between fantasy and reality. Until they're about seven years old, it may come earlier for some children. This is based on children's interactions with TV shows and literature. It's why kids can get very scared at a Halloween event or watching a scary movie. Some people may never fully be able to distinguish between fantasy and reality. Let me remind you, people have left their spouses for AI that they are dating. There are certain groups of people who may be more prone to falling into fantasy, and it's not great to start as a child. What we do know about AI is that it does not have a very good impact on people's cognition. Children all the way into adults in college have been using AI to cheat on assignments, so they're not actually learning the skills. There has been research where people were asked to write essays with AI versus by hand, and their cognitive abilities to write did go down. I would also like to remind you that less than half of U.S. adults can read over an eighth grade level. Literacy has been increasing up until the 1990s, where it took a decline, and no one is entirely sure why this happens. Many would like to blame the education system, but what really is different after 1990? I would bet good money that this phenomenon is a result of our interactions with technology. Not everyone, but many of us read when we were children. But we now have alternatives that are more entertaining, more quickly. We have brain rot, essentially. There have been some studies into the effects of children's TV shows, and they're not good. Essentially, people will jump as high as they're asked to jump. So, if children are interacting with more complex ideas, they will grow to understand more complex ideas. But if they're interacting with children's media, it just doesn't help their development. Of course, we have no idea what social development will occur as a result of children using AI in place of friends. AI is essentially a yes man, a stinkophant. I like to think of it how we think of puppies or kittens. Have you ever had a single kitten? Did it grow up to be very sociable? No, it actually needed peers to tell it, "Hey, biting and scratching hurts." If you have a character that you're interacting with who always says yes and just takes the abuse, I'm guessing it's not going to result in very healthy adult friendships or relationships. Some have blamed the Gen Z stare on the fact that most of Gen Z, who has entered adulthood and entered the workforce, went through a significant period of their life where they just used Zoom in place of interacting with their friends. So perhaps they never developed social skills. I can't tell you if that's the reason, but we don't really see kids playing outside, and I don't want to be that person. But we are just not having the same socialization that we had when we were kids. We do know that AI is not very good for adults, and I guess we'll see what happens as children grow up on it. It's not going to stop. So the best that we can do is take care of our kids and monitor what they're doing. But we all know that doesn't really work well either. We're doomed. We're doomed.